Hey there, this is Daniel with Spotio, and on today's feature spotlight video, we will be discussing Spotio's routing tool. This video will cover how you can set up routes on the web version of Spotio, how you can complete routes on the mobile version, as well as how you can view reports for completed routes and set up and edit routes on the mobile if you're a rep in the field. So let's get started. So inside of the web version of Spotio, you'll want to start by going to the map view. This is going to be where you can select and hone in on the area with your leads that you want to create a route for. In order to route two specific leads inside of Spotio, you do already have to have a pin created for them. So as you'll notice here, I'm clicking through my different leads that my reps have already created. Another thing you can do prior to creating a route is actually filter and select the types of leads. So I'm going to come into our routing tool here, which is the second icon down on the top right. And we have several options inside of here. We have the ability to look at completed trips, which we'll dive a little bit deeper into later. And then we also have the ability to see all of the routes that you currently have created as well as active for your reps to run. So for today's example, I'm going to start by creating a route for George, and I'm going to call it George's Friday route. So this is very straightforward. This is me basically as an admin creating a route for one of my reps to run in the field. Now, reps can also come into the web version and create their own routes, um, as well as have routes created for them and assigned to them by an admin. For this example, I'm going to actually open up the filters panel on the left, and as you can see here, I've filtered by prospecting leads. So this basically allows me to filter by a certain type of lead prior to adding them to my route. You're then able to click on the individual lead and hit the add to route button, which then puts that lead into your route. We also have the ability to bulk add leads and you can do so by clicking on our triangle selector tool in the top left corner. And this is going to let you draw around a certain area and add all of those leads to your route at the same time. So as you notice here, I basically filtered just by prospecting leads, circled all of the prospecting leads in this particular area, and I'm now going to hit the add to route button to put all of those leads onto the route that I'm creating. You'll now notice that all of the leads have been added to the route. I can scroll along the side here and see the order they've been put in, and you're able to adjust and edit the leads from this menu as well. You'll notice we have the little X icon if you want to delete any, and then if you grab the three little lines icon, it allows you to adjust the order that the leads are in. In addition to manually editing and adjusting the order of a route, we also have an optimize route button here at the very top in the yellow box. And when you click this, it's going to take all of the leads in your current route and put them in the best optimized route order. So the uh, easiest distance to navigate all in a straight line, as you can see there. Um, after I've created and optimized my route, I'm gonna go ahead and assign it to George. And then I can also put in notes for the specific route. So this is helpful if you're an admin assigning a route to a rep, you can give them some additional clarity for the route. And then finally, I just wanna make sure I activate the route as well as select if it's a driving or a walking route. Important to um, point out that only active routes will appear on the rep's devices. If you don't have the route marked as active, they will not be able to see it until you do so. Finally, you're able to add a start and an end point. So this is helpful if like reps are starting from your office or from their homes, you can put in those addresses prior to creating the route. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this route. You'll now notice that George's Friday route is appearing in this right side panel, and I can click back into the route as an admin and edit it if I need to. So now what we're gonna do is jump over to the mobile side of things. So I'm logged in as George here on the mobile. The route is active, so when I click into the routes icon at the top of the screen, I'm gonna see George's Friday route. As a rep, I can click in and look at the route as well as edit anything about it if I want to, so I can adjust or add any stops prior to running it. But when it comes time to actually um, execute and run the route, we have two different options for it. So we have this map view, like we just saw on the web, that puts them all in order. And I can hit the add stops button inside of here if I want to add or adjust any um, additional stops. I'm gonna add in one additional one just to show what that would look like. Um, and then if I hit save at the bottom, it'll actually add that to my particular route prior to me running it. So it'll actually update the total number of stops to six. So when I'm ready to get started, I'll just hit the start button for my route. We have a little driving disclaimer, you know, make sure you're not on your device uh, while actively driving. And now I'm going to begin my route. Now you'll notice that it's showing me the most optimized way to get to all of my different leads. But as far as actually navigating to the leads, that's what the little street sign icon um, in the bottom right, right above the log visit button will do. And when I click on that, you'll notice that it opens up all of the different GPS options that we work with and allows you to push the address directly into your phone's GPS system. So this allows you to get navigation from your phone's native GPS. Once you get to the lead, you can go through the same exact process you normally would for logging a visit by hitting that yellow log visit button. 
After you've completed that, it'll take you to the next lead in your route. You'll notice here I'm now on the number two lead, um, and I can basically recreate or um, replicate that same process, right? So hitting the navigation button above log visit if I need to navigate to it, and then hitting the log visit button when I actually get to the lead and I'm ready to update that I visited it. So as I continue this process, you'll also notice we have this list option that I just selected um, on that top gray bar. And this allows you to work your route in a, either a list or a map format. So a lot of people like to work out of the map. It shows you know geographically where you are and where you need to go next. But we do also have this list option that allows you to go through and do things like skip stops, um, log visits, and pretty much all of the other actions for your route. Once you've completed it, you'll notice we have a trip complete screen comes up, and this basically lets you know that the route has been completed. I can go back in and review which um, leads I checked in at, which ones I might have skipped or edited, and basically um, you know, double check that the route was completed as it had been generated for me, as well as export anything if I want to. So now that we've completed a walkthrough of how a rep can execute a route on the mobile, let's take a look at the admin side of things. So now that George has gone out and completed his Friday route, I can go back into the same section as before and actually deactivate the route if needed, as well as sort the routes. So obviously for a single route, not the most complicated example, but once you have multiple routes, um, as well as multiple routes for different reps, you might need to come in and delete ones that have been completed, as well as deactivate them if we ever want to reactivate them in the future um, for you know another route or maybe the same rep to rerun the same route. So for this example, I'm going to deactivate George's route, and now I'm going to jump over to our trips section. So inside of Spotio, a trip is basically a completed route that a rep has run, and this little sidebar here is going to show you all of the Spotio trip information. So you can come in here and see detailed reports on all of the routes that have been completed. You can click in, and this little screen here is going to show you on the map view what the route looked like, which stops they went to, date and timestamps of when they went to all of those stops, and then uh, last but not least give you the ability to export this report to either a PDF or a CSV. So super easy, you know, once a rep goes in and completes a route, it becomes a trip, and then you as the admin um, can go in and actually see the details around that. We also have a dashboard. Um, inside of our dashboard section, you'll notice we have a distance report, and this is going to give you more detailed reporting on all of the routes that your reps have completed. So you can sort this by either user or by route, and you can come in, and for this particular example, we can see the route that George completed yesterday, have that ability to export, and then also have, um, obviously, all of those metrics that we can see for either the route specifically or for any of our specific users um, that have run their routes in the field. So last but not least, I wanted to just go over some additional options the reps have on the mobile while they're out in the field. So um, first things is whenever a rep is uh, in the field, if they need to create their own route, they can actually select the same little triangle tool here in the map view, circle leads just like we did before on the web version. And then with, by hitting that plus icon at the bottom of their screen, it'll give them the ability to create a route for these particular leads. It also has a lot of the same options that we had on the web. You know, they can add additional stops if they want to, you know, uh, include additional leads. We have that same optimize button where they can go and optimize their route. And then we also have that save button where they can go um, while they're out in the field and create a route. So I'll call this one uh, George's Monday route since he'll come back in on Monday um, and complete this route for himself. So basically all of the same options that we covered in the web version before. But once again, a rep can do this um, by, uh, for themselves on the mobile while they're out in the field. In addition to being able to create their own routes from the mobile, there are a few other options that they have when they're running a route that I wanted to cover. So um, I'm just going to start George's route here again. You'll notice that when I start a route, this yellow icon appears in the top right corner. And that basically is just letting me know that I have a route active. If I click that button, it'll actually turn off the route and reset Spotio to normal. So a lot of times reps will say, hey, I have this route that's appearing. I need to you know, maybe close it to update another lead or do some other action. And that's what that button will allow you to do is basically turn on and off the route that you're running. So that's all I have for you guys today for routing. Please feel free to reach out if you have any additional questions. You can reach out to our support team as well as a member of our CX team and be on the lookout for some additional Spotio feature spotlight videos here in the near future.